When you do a bone marrow transplant, the old way we used to think about donating bone marrow is they'd go in with a drill, right, and they'd suck out bone marrow out of your hip or your sternum, a lot of the flat bones. And while there are some transplants that are done that way, that's not the normal way of doing it. So actually what they can do now clinically is they'll give you a drug. It, right now it's called granulocyte colony simulating factor, GCSF. This drug causes stem cells to leave the bone marrow, go into the blood, then they can put a line on you, they can collect the cells that they want, give you everything else back, and then you're on your way. So what this study says is that we can take a drug as simple as aspirin, add it to the current regimen, and we can double the effectiveness of it. In controlled clinical trials, this can now be a widespread therapy. This can be promoted as an enhancement to the current mobilization strategies. We did some early primate studies, and we did a healthy volunteer study to demonstrate that, yes, the end says we're doing the same thing that we saw in mice. Now we need to progress it and say, how will those cells transplant? Transplantation, we think of it as a cure for lymphoma and leukemia and myeloma, these blood cancers and disorders. Uh, but transplantation could be used to cure a lot of other diseases. The only documented cure of HIV is a bone marrow transplant. Sickle cell anemia, this is something that afflicts a lot of people here in the U.S. and globally. Hematopoietic transplantation can actually be a curative option for these people. The problem right now is that the way we do transplant is very risky. It normally requires radiation or extensive chemotherapy regimens, and then we do the transplant. So the risk-reward benefit right now for some of these patient populations is not there. And I think one thing that we're broadly interested as an HSCI community and specifically in our lab is how can we make this less risky? How can we reduce the amount of chemotherapy and radiation and suddenly broaden the use of hematopoietic transplant to other diseases and create curative options? Because right now we, we've got people who have constant hospital visits for their whole life and constant care and et cetera. So if we can suddenly create a curative therapy by using stem cell transplantation, yeah, this, these would be you know, pretty meaningful things. To progress this to a clinical trial, this is something that can help patients, it can reduce our overall healthcare costs, but a drug company can't make money on this, right? So this is why we need scientific investment, right? The only people who can invest in advancements like this is NIH and private donations.